Hello, today we will be doing the second part of my series of what life is like on other places. Today we will be doing Groomers 34. Groomers 34 is a small dim red dwarf star orbiting with a small dim red dwarf star orbiting it. I couldn't find a real life size comparison so I just gasped for these cutouts. So let's go with it. Okay, here we go. So, there are two small, unintelligent creatures living on Groombridge 34, two species. The, the flappers and the f floaters. They both have two genders, male and female, and reproduce sexually. They, to give you some size, size comparison to what how big these are, here's the average American standing at 5 foot 10, and here's the tallest man in history. Robert Pershing standing at 8 foot 11. Now the flappers and the floaters are grabbed by creatures called grogs who are who also reproduce sexually and have two genders but they have long and sticky tongues so they can grab on to them while they're flying by and then suck them into their mouths, swallowing them whole. And then these, the grogs, are swallowed whole by these creatures called the sneeds. The sneeds also reproduce sexually and have two genders. And they swallow them whole. They are able to survive Groombridge 34's extreme heat by using the muscles in their body to fling themselves up and down, going from really hot to really cold, because when they fling themselves really high, it gets farther away from the sun. And these temperature changes are able to keep the body at a nice, even temperature with those temperature changes, which causes it to live. Both the grogs, the floaters, and the flappers spin themselves really fast around, so then their tentacles become propellers, floating them across over the surface of the sun and high up in the air so it's not as hot, so they don't melt and can survive the extreme heat. But then the Sneeds are both eaten by the quad oral whales who have only one gender and reproduce asexually and the meats that also re that re actually reproduce sexually and have two genders, male and female the meats. Now, since the quad oral whales and meats have to fight over these sneeds, in which there are not very many of these sneeds, they are natural enemies and are constantly fighting each other and trying to kill each other. The meats would usually win in a fight with a quad or a whale, but These creatures, the meat-asides, live from drinking meat blood. They do this by ramming themselves into meats and injuring themselves into, and sorry, injuring the meats, but then going into the meat's body so they can drink their blood and then they ram themselves out. Now the meats, you almost always survive this, but they're seriously injured and can't fight anymore. So then the quad oral whales can just go over and finish them off.
Now, both the flappers and the floaters have special mouths that can suck the life out of animals. But, and the creatures that they try to suck the life out of are quad oral whales and meats, which is another reason for them to fight. But usually the meats and the quad oral whales just crush them when they try to fly up next to them to suck their life. But when they've been, when a meat or a quad oral whale has been injured into a fight, then they cannot protect themselves, so the flappers and the floaters can just fly over and suck the life from them. Now, the meats, the quad oral whales, and the metasides all survive the extreme heat the same way. As you can see, they have lots and lots of legs. Now, they use this legs to keep going at their very highest of energy and pushing really hard, which almost makes them swim through the gases of the top part of the sun, uh, sorry, the atmosphere of the sun, getting high up so then it's not as hot and cooler, so they can survive the extreme heats. The metasides can ha have only one gender, but can reproduce asexually or sexually, so they can reproduce both ways. And that was the life of Groombridge 34. Thanks for the views. And if you want to see more videos like this, then subscribe and hit the bell button so you can watch my videos. Goodbye.